Thanks to a modern technology, taking an amazing picture has never been easier. But there is one thing that you can't get on those tablets and cell phones, at least not yet anyway, and that would be the perfect frame. Charlie Belcher with that this morning. Hey. Hey, you guys doing all right? Happy yeah. Monday yeah. to you. Thank you, Thanks. you too. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. Yeah, we are in Palmetto, one of our favorite places to visit, Palmetto, uh, at Framing by Robin. Here's Robin. <laughs> Robin, you, you started out uh, like so many people who own frame shops uh, as an artist yourself. And I, th I think yes. that, always, that gives you a great perspective when people are bringing their art or decorations to you to make even better. I think yes. that artist's eye probably gives you an advantage. Absolutely. What was your thing? What, what were you in? Uh, what was your art? Oh, I mainly love to do watercolor, uh, stippling with pen and ink, or oil painting, you know, mostly the basics. Yeah. I love to do portraiture. How did you get into the frame yeah. business then? Um, I actually walked into the frame factory in 1980 to have one of my own, actually the little girl over there, uh, to have her framed. And when we walked in, I was looking for a job at the time, and you know, we said, "Wow, this would be a great place to work." <laughs> so I, I asked the owner, and she needed help, and there you have it. You so stayed there for 14 years. 14 years, and, and I then managed decided, it. I'm going to open my own place. Yes, when it was time to leave, I went off on my own. I how, knew I was ready. How long have you owned your own place then? Now? 15 years. Now. 15 years. 16 in December. All right, it's a rough economy. Absolutely. Yeah, don't, yeah any uh, <laughs> small business owner will tell you it's tough times. How uh, how do you weather the storm? Oh, I just have loyal, loyal customers. I, Palmetto has been so supportive to me. I thank you so much because I don't know how I would have made it if it weren't for, you know, the, the attitude of this community. They just want to support their local businesses. That's good. That's all there yeah. is to it. Yeah, because so. it's tough. There's uh, the big box stores. I know Michael's and Joanne Fabrics. I mean, they'll, a lot of them will do this framing stuff now, uh, but... Uh, They're our biggest nemesis. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm so sure. please support your independent framer. <laughs> support your local businesses. Uh, now, what... And it's... You offer all sorts of services here. Absolutely. From the, I mean, I can I can come in with with something I want on my wall, and you can you can hold my hand and take me through the whole process. Absolutely. But also, uh, when we're going to get into this a little bit later, shadow boxing. Yes. What a neat way to 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 display the me mementos or collections yes. you have, just you collecting just, dust. Yep. You just make a collection of anything you want to tell a story about, really, and we put it together and make it beautiful. You also do the uh, uh, hand cutting. Hand cut I, can't, matting. I was trying to describe it. Earlier. What's it called? Hand. Hand cut matting. Hand cut matting. I'm going to show you mm -hmm. how she does that, which is an artwork in, in and of itself. Absolutely. And sometimes people bring a piece like this and they want they want a different background. She can do that. That I got to see. <laughs> so we're going to talk about all of Robin's many talents and show you some do it yourself at home a little bit and uh, and show you how you, why you should support your local businesses when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Happy Monday, everybody. Fox. But first, we've always said Charlie Belcher is pretty as a picture. Today he's proving it. We're gonna check. <laughs> we're gonna check in with him next. I know. I know. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Palmetto this morning, hanging out at Framing by Robin, and there she is. That's Robin. Good All right, let's go through some framing basics and what makes you special at what you do is helping people make their pretty pictures even prettier if they're going to go on the wall. So you've got two examples here of the same print. And actually, this is interesting in and of itself, the technology now that you can yes. you can order any size print on, on almost anything. Yes, this is a very exciting new program um, through Larson Jewel, one of my favorite suppliers. Um, we can now order, um, they have a program called Art That Fits. You can order thousands of images um, to whatever size you need so if you have a frame that you want to put something into now we can actually fill that need uh, for 30 years I've been needing this <laughs> and, <laughs> and this is a, a mat and, uh, on, yes. on print printer on, uh, on art paper art paper yes and this, this is actually on a canvas you'd stretch this yes. over over can in over fact we're going to do that frame. a little later yeah and I wanted to show how totally different something the same image can turn out you know, in the end, depending on how you frame it. Uh, this would be done with matting and with glass. You always want glass on paper. Matting and glass go together. And, and the basic rule of what matting, you want to what, maybe pick out a couple of colors and just have it to uh, I always try, it? Mm -hmm, I always try to use the same colors, the same way you see them in the artwork so that we're always bringing the eye in. My job is to bring your eye into the artwork. 
So I like this. Thing. I like this with the with the double frames. It's like mm -hmm. you got a, mm -hmm. a purple frame with a, a classic wooden frame, but put together. That's kind of a neat little. Exactly. That's a neat mat in and of itself. Doing a double, or sometimes I've even done a triple frame where you can bring out more colors. Well, you get creative like this right here. I mean, you. I love this. It's yes. a wedding photo, and you found the same fabric of the wedding dress and created a mat from that fabric. Yes, exactly. That's that's really neat. All right, so mm -hmm. let's see. So if we're gonna let's go with that one. We got, okay. we got, look at that, the phone's already ringing. We're already bringing business to, the, to the, our local business here. Yeah, I, I thought I liked this one the best. All right, so we're going to, we'll frame that up and see what it looks like uh, all put together. This one's ringing off the hook. Thank goodness we have somebody here to answer the phone. Uh, all right, stick around. We're going to do that, and we're also going to show you how she could take an image you might already have and alter it. That's where the artistry comes in. Hmm. We're changing that from blue to green, I think. Wow. Hmm, I was thinking of maybe, I don't know. Getting a, rid of a few, erasing a few lines, changing it those that way. You know what you I'm talking you, about. Oh, you will. Sure. That's Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you wish we had that here? Don't you wish we could do that here every morning? All right. See you later. Erase right. some of those flaws. <laughs> you may change the way. Charlie, over to you. And remember, we had these nice two prints I was showing you. And look at that. We got one all nicely framed. Look at the matting, how it really brings out the picture. And then the other one, we're stretching the canvas, is what it's called. I've never actually seen that done. Very interesting. Across a wood little frame there. And, and that'll be uh, look like a regular old painting. When we come back, we're talking about the hand cutting, hand cut matting. I'll finally say it right, Robin. Hand cut matting from Framing with Robin, with Robin, when Good Day Tampa Bay continues from Paul Mitchell. Day 53. Welcome back to Good Day. Special day for uh, a lot of students, yeah. you know, don't you think, Charlie? Especially yes. uh, one very special one for you. Yes, little Lindsay Rose. Let's I'll be, I'll it. be that guy. I'll be that guy talking <laughs> all about it. There you go. It's, it's her first day oh, of Charlie. middle school. I know she got so, she's getting so big so fast. She's growing up way too fast. I will admit, her mom uh, sent me the pictures, and uh, That's all right. uh, I choked up a little bit. That's I don't blame I, you. I, got, I would, too. She I looks got great. Teary -eyed. Got a little teary-eyed. Ugh, middle school. <laughs> Good luck, Lindsay Rose. Mwah, better you than me, baby. <laughs> I don't think I can do middle school again. Uh, we are in Palmetto this morning, uh, framing by Robin. Here's Robin, uh, an artist herself, and one of, the, one of the services she offers here, which I think is kind of special and why you need to support local businesses, mom and Absolutely. pop, if you will, businesses, is, is you will really get creative with the customer, and this is called... Hand-cut matting. Hand-cut matting, and yes. this dragon is a great example of it, where, where you know, you're not going to buy a mat <laughs> to, to do that. No way. Uh, and there's a lot of work, I'm sure, that goes into it. How do you do the hand cut matting? Well, I start out with a piece of tracing paper, Charlie, and I, I would just kind of, you know, draw out the design, not getting too detailed. You just basically want to go around the, the image, whatever you want to bring out, and then I would actually take this and flip it over. Take this away so it doesn't get and hurt. And this is what, this is and what I, we're framing, by yes, the way. Oh, yes, yes. And I would flip this over, and you can see how I all I have to do basically is line it where I want it and trace it again, and then it releases the pencil on oh. an image onto the back of the mat. Okay, oh, and this is the and, actual mat here, all yes, right. Yes, which works out perfectly because it has to be reversed anyway because you're working on the back of the mat. When you flip it over, it's going to be a reverse, like a mirror image. Right. So then, after I've got that all drawn out on the mat where I want it, then I just start cutting with my nifty little hand cutter here. You do have to be careful. You have to pay attention to which way the bevel's going to go. Right. And, okay. Where, oh, I got it backwards. And you just basically follow the line. And this does take, takes practice. This right. was very, very difficult at first. I, and I'm surprised you're not yeah. just using like a little exacto knife or oh, something. Oh, no, no. You've, this will hold your blade at a 45 degree angle, which is imperative. The X-Acto knife, I've, I've actually had people bring mats in that they tried to cut just a straight cut right. with an X-Acto knife, and it's not pretty. Because that's going to give you the angle. You picture. want like an exactly. angle in the mat so you see kind exactly. of Exactly. This has given you the bevel. Very that you interesting. Want. All right, fantastic. And I should also say that you, will, uh, you also uh, bring frames back to life. We've got a couple of examples right there that were antique old 
frames, yes. and you uh, worked your magic on those as well. What did you do yes. to bring those back? Um, I do frame restoration where if the paint job on the frame is not in bad shape, then I would just touch it up. I would clean it up good, maybe sand it. Um, touch nice. up the gold and put a clean it finish looks on brand it. New. Looks and good as new. This when one we was come back, we're going to talk shadow boxing. Shadow boxing. Gather those mementos. We'll show you a good thing that you can do with them when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Happy Monday. Happy back to school day. Happy Good Day, Tampa Bay. Loaf and Charlie has the perfect way to finish off the perfect picture, making it picture perfect. He's in Palmetto. You know what I'm doing, Ann? I, I, was, I was afraid to ask. Shadow boxing? No. Shadow boxing. Uh, I'm shadow boxing. Shadow boxing. I was, I was so excited to find out I was coming to Palmetto this morning to do a little shadow boxing. Apparently, it has to do with stuff like that. So, uh, once again, off the mark. But look at this. Woo! Stick around, everybody. It's a doggy. Woof, woof, woof. Good day, Jibba Bay will be right back at uh, uh, Framing by Robin. Woof, woof, woof. Oh. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Palmetto this morning. Framing by Robin, and there she is. There's Robin doing some framing. Actually, going to talk about some shadow boxing right now, which means you need a nice wide frame. And you were putting kind of a matting all the way around the inside there. Yes, you use strips of the same backing board, or you can change out colors like I did this time, matching colors to complement. And you, you put the glass in, and then you line the sides with your strips. That's what holds the glass in the front and the backing in the back. Very nice. All right, now, now it, it, you put together a nice little scene here. And then if yes. you, I, I love this idea. If you have some mementos or things, collections or uh, memories that you, you wonder, oh, gosh, you're just collecting dust. They're in a drawer. What can I do with them? Exactly. This is a great idea. So you little, tell me how you've attached these to the board. I am right now doing the last finishing touch of course and the thread's gonna come out on me but you would stitch I stitched all of this down okay and with what using this, a little like a little uh -huh, with a ne yes needle and thread with the monofilament and then with this I have a handy dandy little micro attach tool here that has the little tiny plastic pieces like you when you buy new clothes right but you just would stick that in there and and pull the trigger and it attaches and you don't glue it down because that way if you ever did want to tear this apart and, and have exactly it, you exactly have it. and you want to tell me who this is right here this is my mother my beloved mother yeah. hazel we lost her just over a year ago that's very nice so though. this you is a the... memento to mom you got a little uh, there's just a funeral uh -huh. announcement yeah. or the, the um, program yeah actually her church membership from many years ago you can see in the back you can see what and, it kind of looks like when you yeah i would take the attached at all i would take the thread around and just right. tape that all down and then you lay this inside and then this uh-huh this catches the back oh, i see it would stay up like that yes but the other yeah, way, so, right? Yeah. <laughs> Face, yeah, right. yeah, you want it? We can do that real quick. Okay, I hate that the thread's still in there, but... Put it down like that? Uh-huh. And then... Yeah, it has to get caught on the strips. There we go. And, yeah. And it shows you... We have it right side up. Yeah, there you go. And I, I want, think that's really cool. I wanted that left open, so I put a little right. strip in there it's to open, cheat so, you so you that you can see, see inside. I think that's beautiful. And come on here real quick. We'll show you. Here's the finished product of that stretched canvas one, as well as the uh, hand cut matting that we finished up. So there you go. The multi-talents of an artist who happens to own a frame shop. We will put information for Framing by Michelle up at myfoxtampabay.com if you want to come down to Palmetto and say hi and support a local business. Yeah. And that's, that's pretty. That's really a nice. beautiful uh, final product there. That looks nice mm -hmm. and it is a great way to honor some of those who are no longer with us that yep. mean a lot to us. Taking